Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're going to cover real quick some continuous chain vertical lift theory. You've all seen these things. This is three stage lift. Stage one that's bolted to the chassis. Stage three is coming up. Stage two is coming up. And it stopped. All right. Let's help you guys understand this from a theoretical fundamental level. If we, I've got a piece of wood here, got some slots cut in it, some pieces of wood that can slide back and forth, some little pegs. Pegs are supposed to represent the axle with the sprocket and this is the chain, okay? If we take this and route it between stages back and forth and we pull it, it's obvious to see, it's easy to see the stages move apart. If we had a fourth stage or a fifth stage, there'd be a up, down, up, down, up, down, so on and so forth. Okay, we don't need an up, down. We need a here, up, up. We need them to climb vertically. Okay, we can get that. We just gotta position our chain in the correct spot on our pegs or on our sprockets, okay? Let's come back, start with the simplest continuous chain vertical lift two stage. You got a fixed stage and you got a smaller second stage that moves up and down. We're going to take our chain here, connect it to the final stage. We're going to use zip ties or something. In, in real life we're using, these are actually Q-tips. And you can see that as I move this chain, the final stage moves up and down. Usually it's moved by this top sprocket on stage one right here. That's where the sprocket, that's where the motors are attached to and they drive this top sprocket and it moves everything up and down. And you say, okay, well that's easy. All right, well, let's move to something slightly harder, but still the same fundamentally. Let's add in stages two and three and four. And I'm gonna point something out to you here that you may not have missed, that you may have missed. On stages one, two, three, there's a second sprocket or an additional sprocket at the bottom attached to the chassis chain comes down, hits the sprocket, goes underneath all stages, and then back up on stage one. That's right here. Okay. So, just like in the robot there, we're going to come off of stage four, hit that fixed peg, that fixed pulley on the chassis of the bot, come up under one, over the top of one, bottom of two, top of two, bottom of three, top of three, back down to four. And now if I hold stage one, stage four likes to, uh, likes to flip upward a little bit on us here, okay? So we're gonna have to sort of help him along here a little bit. But you can see these stages moving upward, okay? You start to see what's going on here. The stages are gonna move based on friction. Whichever one's got the least friction is gonna move first. In the real world, on a real bot, it's usually gonna be stage four. But this is wood, there's splinters, there's a lot of friction. But you can see the stages moving. Now, two is sort of topped out here. These sprockets are getting close to lined up with one another and that stage is gonna stop moving about that point. Four is trying to kick up a little bit on us, but I'm pulling on the string and you see these guys moving upward. If I hold three, that'll force four to move on up there for you, okay? This is gonna stop moving when these get roughly in line with one another. So here's one, two is stopped. Three could move on up a little bit more, but we're running out of room. And four is pretty much topped out, but you see the chain path. Bottom of one, over the top of one. Under the bottom of two, over the top of two. Under the bottom of three, over the top of three. Attached to the final stage, back down to your dummy uh, 
sprocket, back under, and so on and so forth. And it's a continuous loop of chain. And that's pretty much it. If you want to know how these stages over here actually interlock and slide back and forth, look at some of the videos from like a year or two years ago, and they'll detail these nuts you see. They'll detail what screws are there, what spacers are there, and so on and so forth, and how these are actually assembled, okay? Uh, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys find this helpful. If you got questions, post them, and we'll see you with, at Worlds. Thanks.